with this election is that we know who lost, and that is the hard right. It did not get the absolute majority which it was craving. It did not get the relative majority which most people were expecting it would get. Uh, but once you've said that, we don't really know uh, who may have won. Nobody won. Uh, so the situation is indeed uh, one of parliamentary uh, confusion. There is a lesson here. They're not going to get into power under their own steam, the folks from the hard right. Uh, they're going to have to think about coalitions and about watering down uh, uh, their, uh, uh, the worst parts of their program. Mr. Mélenchon was probably just as surprised as everybody else by uh, the unforeseen outcome of the elections. Uh, uh, he's right uh, to view it as an opportunity as far as he's concerned. Essentially, to create a dynamic in which uh, uh, his uh, uncomfortable partners within the left-wing coalition would sort of be psychologically uh, uh, cowed into recognizing his, uh, uh, his primacy. Uh, we'll see whether that, uh, that worked or not. <laughs> President Macron cannot run again although he has a number of potential successors, uh, there is no natural uh, Macron after Macron. So the notion that you would have a fight between the two extremes, extreme left and extreme right, is one which uh, not only appeals to Macron, but may actually happen uh, to emerge.